In fly fishing, bug hatches are the name of the game. They literally put the fly in fly fishing. Without hatches, fly fishing wouldn't be the same. On this outing to my local stream, we stumbled onto the mother of hatches. Caddis, pale morning duns, stone, and salmon flies were all in and around the stream. So we tied up and hit the water, trying to catch our share of brown and rainbow trout. They're everywhere. Dude. Water, it didn't take long to get hooked up. Dude. <laughs> yeah, I can get that. Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. You stay up. Yeah, right in the corner. Brown trout. Should probably be using a caddis now that <laughs> we know they're eating them. But I want to get a bite on a stonefly because I've never caught a fish on a stonefly. Fun Kiss fact. the season. Look at Brody missing the net. We're deleting that. Get a little mouth on that guy. Come on now. Less than a minute after we release yours. Come on, guys. On that dropper? <laughs> it's about 10, 15 minutes of fishing. Two fish in the net, one a piece. Elon's was definitely a little bigger. Switching back up. Such good water right here. Let's do it again. Since there were so many bugs and not many fish rising, we were fishing dry dropper, a technique where you drop a nymph off the back of a dry fly. This is one of my favorite ways to fish because you are able to fish two different water columns at the same time. Dropper fish. I'm down. Yeah, you can tell. Whoa, whoa, Elon. Dude, were you even paying attention? Oh, Yo! <laughs> I did a 360. Oh. <laughs> Not a fish, baby. Sir. We've been seeing some stone flies. And um, so I'm putting one on right now. And Elon moved up and he's hooked up on a big guy. And uh, let's try to net him. Yeah, yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh yeah, that's a great fish. Oh my God, Elon. Dude, that, did it break you? No. He ate the dry and then slipped. Dude, that was a, oh, that was a beauty. Really it's all right, dude, they're in here. Let's go, man. We lost a giant, but like every fish we see, it teaches us something. This fish revealed that there are quality fish in this small stream, which was surprising. It also showed us that the big ones were willing to eat, so it was only a matter of time before another big fish would be on the end of our line. Then unfortunately for us, the big surprise of the day came floating down the river. So we moved up river in search of water that hadn't been floated over. And although they weren't big, we found quite a bit of success. Just a fatty man. Dude, this this little spot was designed. 
to net fish. Literally. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Uh, not bad. Between the net for me and there's a PMD on the water right there. What are we? Two hours in? Hour in? Hour and a half? It's 120. I have no idea what It's like two hours in. It's like two hours in, guys. I'm having a blast. Couldn't go in any further because of private property, but uh, right on that property line, we ended up catching a bunch of fish. I caught three fish in about 10 casts. Didn't even get one on camera just because it was so fast, but uh, really good water below us here. You saw those tubers. Unfortunately, we're coming through, but you know, that's just part of what we do. A lot of recreation going on and it's uh, actually crazy going on right now. We've got stone flies. We've got a ridiculous amount of caddis and there are also PMDs. It's kind of nuts right now. There's so many different kinds of bugs. This dry fly fishing is absolutely insane. Yep. Oh. oh that was insane, dude. Oh, nice fish. You're good. Yep. Hi, Sick. Yes, dude. Another unit here. Oh, man. Pretty fish. Yeah. That might be the biggest one of the day now. That one on your first one. You might need a sec. Yeah. Dude, that eat was, was insane. That was epic. Finally, we were able to find a fish with a little bit more size. And luckily for us, the cat's hatch was just starting to get even more intense. Dude, the second you got hooked up, I missed a giant too. That's probably the third or fourth one that's probably like 15 or 16 inches, man. Yeah, that's beautiful. Kind of bad. Guys, I moved up, jumped around Elon. He is on a giant. That's a really big fish. Big rainbow. Just a toad. I didn't know there was rainbow in here. Look at that. Yeah, dude, look at that fish. Big fish. Such a nice fish, dude. Oh my gosh. That's an 18 incher. Yeah. Dude, that's, put her there. Oh my God, dude, you're, you're just crushing the bigger fish today. Dude, what a freaking fish. Wow. <laughs> dude, that was so what? Awesome. He was on the inside? No, he, he came right into this and I was like, don't go in there, don't go in there. Wow. I don't, yeah, I like kind of forgot. That was a unit. Okay, so see, see that this like dead stuff just yeah. in front of that is so good yeah it's so good you got the hot hand dude maybe you just go in there and get it <laughs> Woo. good i don't know i saw that but that was pretty Biggest one of the day for me. It's really shout out, uh, shout out to my fishing partner for the uh, Frenchy tip. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. Frenchy corner of the mouth, barbless. Boop. Look at that, guys. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Dude, what? The... Swam off good. That's called fish handling. <laughs> Having trouble walking today, guys. Yeah, we're gonna need some super glue or if anybody knows anybody at Sims, hit me up. I'd like some new wedding boots. Please. Oh baby. Really big. <laughs> no way. Was it? I didn't even get a good you look at it. You didn't see it? No. Oh, it was big. After losing the biggest fish of the day, and with the storm clouds moving in, we decided to call it quits. But only after experiencing a great hatch with multiple different bugs, catching fish, 
and exploring new water. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you guys in the next one.